Alright, so please excuse the uh, ghetto setup on the plywood for right now. Um, I'm in the process of machining the enclosure for the Arduino and the LCD. But this is what we've got. Um, everything is stable. Uh, this reports to exactly. Um, and uh, it can be controlled on the fly. So let's take a look at the LCD display. Uh, so here we have the ambient temperature, humidity, water trailer temperature, and indicator lights. Um, or numbers, should I say. Um, zero represents off, one represents on, of course. Um, starting from left to right, AC fan, AC compressor, water chiller. Right now, uh, we have a one, which tells me that the water chiller is on and is currently cooling. Um, I can change the temperature on the fly with this rotary encoder here. It's a push button rotary encoder. Uh, so I just push the button. And this will give me, uh, this will cycle through each setting. Uh, so let me go ahead and turn down that AC temperature and turn on the. Uh, That zone sounds good. Chill the temperature, let's get that a little bit colder. Three degree dead zone's good. Alright, so as you can see the uh, AC fan is starting up right now. And the reason why I have a delay is I let the AC fan uh, start up and start exhausting uh, air out of the room. If the AC fan, by chance, gets the temperature below its set point before the compressor turns on, it will maintain uh, the AC fan on without turning on the compressor. And hopefully it will pull off the room before turning on the compressor. That's kind of like a econo mode. So you can see we've got three ones. That means the AC fan's running, the AC compressor's running, and the water chiller is also running. So here is the uh, water chiller, and here's the AC unit with the AC uh, fans in it. And this is how the uh, everything's being exhausted. That blower is acting as a booster for the exhaust, and is also acting as the main um, uh, main exhaust.